Hey, I just want to say before this video starts, you can follow me on Twitch and see stuff like this. We've basically already finished the run. <laughs> that someone here just finished the run in hard croissant. I tried to get oh, as no. close to his second charge without getting hit. Like right here. Oh, did you? Hey guys, what's up? Fur Daddy here. Today I'm going to be going over a guide on how to gear your gatherer up with best in slot, uh, minus the aesthetic gear. So in other words, how to get your white script gear for your craft uh, gatherers. So it's, it's going to be pretty much the same as my crafters gear guide. Uh, there's a few things that are going to be different that are pretty crucial. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a shorter video this time but this has been pretty heavily requested since there is some info that differs from the crafters. So if you want to gear up your gatherers, just settle back, listen in, and I'll go over that with you now. So uh, the first bit of information would be surrounding getting your gear from like about level one to level 40. Um, there are gear vendors for all this stuff, unlike the crafted gear where you're gonna be really tightly gathering certain things and like, uh, crafting stuff high quality for the Ishgard restoration, you don't really have to worry too much about stats, and that's for two reasons. One, gathering is a lot more lenient on what you can gather, and it's a lot more forgiving in giving you the ability to gather things. And two, if you're going to be following my leveling up guide that I laid out, you're going to be leveling up in the Diadem up until at least level 60, so it shouldn't really matter um, what gear you have, because your gear is synced in the Diadem, to a certain extent anyways. So uh, this part of the guide, I'm going to show you where to go to get your uh, your level 1 to 40 gear, but understand that you don't need to be like leaving the diadem every like 5 levels to get new gear. So you can mostly just ignore this part, uh, but it might be useful for you if you do want to take a break and gather in other methods, so I'll go over that now. So in the Limza Lominza lower decks, my man Iron Thunder here is the guy you want to talk to to get any of your gear up until level 50. Uh, you can use normal quality gear, it's totally fine. Uh, you're going to have a hard time finding accessories from vendors for Disciple of the Hand and Land stuff, which I'll touch on when it becomes relevant at level 70. Uh, for the meantime, you really don't have to worry about that because, like I said with gear, uh, it's very forgiving and the leveling methods that you use as well are very forgiving, so that's not super relevant. Um, so yes, yeah, so Iron Thunder is where you get your gear, and as for your tools, you can get your tools from my guy Cinehill here, and he'll give you the Disciple of the Hand and Land tools all the way up to level 50. So on the off chance that you do need accessories for leveling up, uh, you can get your ones up to level 35 from Sorcha here in Limsa Lominza. As for any gearing past this point, uh, up until we get to the stuff in Kigane, uh, you can go to the Jeweled Crozier in Ishgard and talk to uh, Sanghui here, the jeweler. Uh, Everdo, the fieldcraft supplier, and Norlay is the armorer to get you the gear that you need all the way up to level 60. So at this point gear becomes a little more relevant. This is because you're probably doing lev quests and maybe like GC turn-ins uh, to level up if you're doing the steps laid out in my guide. The, the lev quests aren't as strict as you'd think they would be. Like you don't need super good gear to finish them or anything like that. And a lot of them just give you like slight bonuses if you finish them within the time limit or whatever. So uh, they're quite easy to do. I wouldn't really stress out about the gear that you bring into there. Uh, that being said, here's how you get the gear from level 60 onwards. So the next bit of gear you need to buy is from the independent merchant in Rogers Reach. Uh, you can buy your primary tools, secondary tools, and gear from them. If you're looking for accessories that level range, Arake and Kugane here will be able to give you the accessories that you're looking for. Okay, so from level 70 on, uh, we can start to use scripts to buy our gear, which is really handy. So right away, uh, I'll just go over the gear that you can actually buy with yellow scripts. Uh, then I'll go over how to get scripts briefly, although I touched on it in my previous video. And then finally, I'll talk about the best in slot uh, or the white script gear. It's a debate whether it's best in slot because, you know, melded aesthetic gear is, well, it's a lot more expensive. It's technically best in slot, but uh, yeah. Okay, so a quick recap on custom deliveries. Custom deliveries are basically uh, gathering and crafting turn-ins that you can do 
uh, where you can give specific NPCs uh, specific items that they request uh, that are found in different locations and you can uh, hand those into those NPCs in order to get scripts. You get a huge amount of scripts from this, uh, which is great, and you get XP as well if you're leveling up, so it's a great way to level up if you're not quite level 80. Uh, so I'm gonna just do a little montage of the different NPCs and I'll show on screen the quests that you need to unlock them because I do talk about this in my crafting gear video which I've also linked in the description and that took like you know seven or eight minutes so I uh, I'll link that in the description if you want to unlock these guys uh, otherwise you can uh, just just watch th these guys here and if you have any that you haven't unlocked you can look up the quests to be able to unlock these ones All right, so I'm on the computer here, uh, although I was on the computer before, but now I'm on the browser to show you how uh, the website that I'm going to be sh relying on to get uh, scripts works. This is the website FinalFantasy14Gathering.com. The link is in the description for that. Um, and basically it just shows you the time that it takes for these rare nodes to respawn. So when I, if you've ever been leveling a gatherer and you've went to an area and you've seen something like you sense a level 80 unspoiled mineral deposit to the southeast, this is what it refers to. Um, there are different items that you can get that give you amounts of scripts. So if we take a look, uh, let's say you are the most comfortable on botanist or something like that. So if we see here, in three hours, the rarefied Aronde logs spawn in. We can click those to watch them. We can watch all these, and we can watch all these. And these ones are up right now, so let's jump in world to see how these work before they despawn. So as we can see, the level 80 unspoiled mineral deposit is just spawned in to the south. So if we do lay the land, okay, well, come on. We can see this unspoiled mineral deposit here. And we have the rarefied Garabanian Illumin. So, I don't know why this just popped up. Uh, we can do a few things here. So the way that you, you want to do this, depends on your gear and a whole bunch of different stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then scrutiny and the better you do with this uh, the better you do with this you know the better you <laughs> the more collectibles you can potentially get, so. Uh, where's the one that gives me an extra one? And that's where gear is really good. So we can get to the maximum here, uh, even though this is a waste. <laughs> if, if you got upset by that, then leave a comment 
that you got upset about that. <laughs> All right, here is what basically we're gonna be doing. So we can collect all this stuff here. Great, now that's all collected. Now we'll probably, you know, hop, or hop to the next location and to the next location and to the next location until you have a whole bunch of these. So when you have a whole bunch of them, uh, you can just go to any collectible appraiser, but we'll use the one in Yulemore. And we can go ahead and trade them in. Now this is the same way you'll get scripts uh, if you are doing your crafters, but you get a lot less. So as we can see here, we get 20, a total of 50 every time. And there we go. And we can just repeat that process until we have enough to buy the gear. So if you've done your turn-ins for the week and you really want gear, this is a great alternative and it's pretty fun. Um, this is also something that's required to get trade mentor status, so, you know, um, it's definitely worth doing. That's the other way that you can get scripts for your gear. So let's you and I take a look at the actual gear you can buy with the scripts and how to do that. Simply go to the script exchange, which you can do at any uh, crafter or, or gatherer turn and spot. There's a lot of these guys around, but this one's in Yulemore. If you go to the Gather Script Exchange, you can buy the level 70 accessories and items here. So uh, this is fine to do if you have done your turn-ins and you want higher level gear to make things a little bit easier on you when you're leveling up. These are super, super cheap, so there's no problem getting those. And what the actual aim of this guide is, is the gear here, this Lansing gear. Not only is it great glam that makes it look like you just ordered like from the Aorzean Starbucks, it's also uh, it's also quite cheap and it's very good. So unless if you are you know really crazy about gathering, uh, this should this should cover your bases. Just like I said in my crafting video with your gear, um, if I ever upgrade to a stat gear, then I will make the same gear uh, tutorial for you guys. So. I think this is good for you guys. Remember when Endwalker comes out, all this gear will be obsolete uh, and you'll be replacing it with gray gear. So if you're worried about being able to craft items quickly when Endwalker comes out, don't even worry about that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the, the outro of the video. So this is the outro of the video. Uh, I just wanted to remind you guys again to follow me on Twitch. Uh, hopefully this guide was useful to, useful to you guys. Uh, you can leave a comment if you want a guide for any other content that you're trying to get through. Uh, it's really close to Endwalker, and then I'm going to be going really hard on guides, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you like that song that was playing during the uh, collectible turn-in section, that song is by my good friend Ben, and his link to his music is in the description of the video as well. So make sure you check all that out, and I'll see you guys next week for the next guide that I make.